Hey, what's up, you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you a quick video just giving my thoughts on the banner for Season 7 of The Walking Dead AMC that was released about three days ago or so. Um, I'm late with this one, but, you know, it's been whether or not to do a video on this, uh, considering there isn't a whole lot new to talk about with this banner alone. Um, but, you know, then I looked back and I did do one on the banner for Season 6 when that was released last year. Um, and I am getting pretty excited for Season 7, you know, it's only a couple months, well, over a couple months away now. Um, of course, returning in October. Let me know, so I just kind of wanted to start, you know, the Walking Dead discussion up again. Um, you know, ever since I did that, you know, Game of Thrones and Walking Dead video. Uh, you know, which, again, I meant, you know, Game of Thrones is probably overall the better show now, but I'm always going to hold the uh, Walking Dead in high regard. I still think it has really great things to come, and uh, Seasons 1 through... Uh, the first half of season four uh, were absolutely amazing and it still has some really good stuff to it today. And so my thoughts on the uh, banner, um, you know, it's basically just showing us the end of season six again, you know, there's a, again, there isn't a whole lot new to talk about. Um, of course, it probably gives like, uh, you know, basically a sum up of uh, the focus of season seven, you know, our group basically under the thumb of Negan, under the uh, shadow, under the uh, shadow of Negan. Um, you know, people are complaining about Jeffrey Dean Morgan being too small for Negan, you know, his shoulders not being big enough or whatever. Um, Jeffrey Dean Morgan's a damn fine actor, so I think that's probably why they picked him. And uh, also, you know, I think they've shown this, you know, subtly with other characters. You know, everyone, no one's really, like, you know, hugely built. Even Abraham, you know, he's not quite as big as he would, probably would have been before the Apocalypse because they don't eat very often, and I doubt... Well, Negan will probably take time to work out and stuff, right? But, uh, you know, because people are slimmer, I think it kind of fits with the setup of the show, everyone's starving and stuff like that. So it doesn't really matter. As long as Jeffrey Dean Morgan plays the part well, which I know he will, I don't see why any of us should have an issue with it, to be honest. Um, and like the banner, uh, this is probably one of the last couple of times I'll talk about who actually got Lucille in the finale. Because uh, I'm just kind of tired of talking about it, to be honest, until we actually found out who it is, what it, what else is there left to talk about. Um, honestly, I'm just going to go with the prediction that he probably did kill two of them, because uh, Rick and the group killed so many of, uh, you know, his men, you know, so many of the saviors, I feel like he has to at least kill uh, more than one. Um, as far as who I think got loose sealed, uh, I honestly think it was uh, Abraham and Glenn. Um, and that seems to be the most popular uh, theory at this point. Uh, apparently they did film death scenes for each of the characters, you know, so there would be no, like, leaks or, uh, you know, people who got, like, snuck in to, or got, somehow got a visual of it. <sighs> I know Lost did the same thing at one point, even though I never watched that. I had heard about them filming multiple, like, endings and such, or multiple death, uh, multiple death scenes. Um, so I wonder how the trailer is going to be if they have one for, uh, Comic-Con next weekend. I think it is next weekend, isn't it? Um... They're obviously not going to be able to show too much in that. I mean, they could probably get away with, uh, you know, showing Rick or something like that. Or maybe they'll show more of, like, uh, where Morgan, where Morgan's been at, you know, with hopefully that, uh, new kingdom area. Maybe they'll show the tiger or something, right? Um, or maybe they'll show, like, flashes of each death scene they filmed, you know, maybe. Um, there, there would be death scenes that would be really hard to watch for sure, and I do hope they include on, like, uh, the season six release, or, like, the season seven release, perhaps. Who knows? Um, but I do think it's Abraham and Glenn. Um, spoilers, of course, in the comics, it is, in fact, Glenn. So I feel like they're actually not going to stray overly far away from it this time. I just feel like they're going to kind of need to go with that. It will suck because we thought Glenn was dead earlier in season six, and now he's just coming back to get killed off. Um, but I feel like Negan still wanted to just make an example out of him after, you know, his little, uh, episode, you know, when he aimed at Maggie and stuff. And, uh, Abraham, because Negan says, taking it like a champ, and Abraham's one of the guys that would, you know, that he probably wouldn't, like, yell out or anything as he was getting hit or, like, uh, react, in, you know, in, like, a pussy way or something, as Negan would probably put it. Uh... Abraham is even, like, rising up, sort of, like, bracing himself, ready to take it, you know, because he, he wasn't afraid of Negan. And, you know, some people are saying, oh, I don't care if Abraham gets killed. I kind of do, you know. I don't care about him as much as I do, like, uh, you know, Rick or Michonne or Daryl or something. Um, but Abraham was getting to the point of being uh, a character I would count among the best of them. 
Um, so it will kind of suck to see him die. Uh, honestly, I'd rather have Sasha get killed any day of the week. But <laughs> I know Negan's not going to kill a woman unless he, has, unless he uh, really has to. But And it would make sense for him to kill Abraham because Abraham's like... Uh, just looking at him, he's like the biggest and the toughest, so making an example out of him would make the most sense. Um, and then Glenn more so for his outburst earlier, I think. Or that like I see is a lot of people care about him, so yeah, it's good him to really uh, you know, set, put them in their place, right? And that'll be hard to see for sure, because apparently we're going to see the whole scene in its entirety, so whether we're as excited about it now or not, it'll still be kind of brutal and hard to watch for any fan of the show, I think. Um, so I do think it's going to be well done. I'm looking forward to season seven. Um, season six is pretty good overall. You know, it had some uh, weaker moments to it, but I think season seven with whole Negan stuff, it's going to provide another big jolt for the show again. I'm really looking forward to seeing how it goes. Even got my Walking Dead shirt on today. That's during uh, when they first got to the prison in season three. Pretty cool. Um, but yeah, those are my main thoughts on the uh, banner. You know, it looks all right. You know, it's nothing uh, great. You know, it doesn't give us any information, but I'm still looking forward to season seven. And I will be doing a video if they do release a trailer at Comic Con next weekend or so. So if you guys are ready for that, and you know, they will release a trailer. I mean, even if they can't show much, um, it's still like a good marketing tool and such. You know, for a promotion and you know, because the trailers do really well on YouTube and such. But uh, anyway, if you guys enjoyed this quick video, let me know what you guys think about the banner. Maybe final thoughts on who Negan killed. And uh, yeah, so I'll catch you guys next time. Most likely, ugh, most likely to review season two of Shameless on Showtime. So I'll catch you guys for that. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, look for Inswilded.com, and uh, peace.